Have you ever found yourself wondering what these codes are at the bottom of a tube of paint? Recently, I've been loving this gray green color as a prime background for my figure studies. And while the name of this paint, gray green, is a pretty straightforward indication on what this paint is, I'm a color nerd and I like to know exactly what's in my paint. So I entered the codes into Google and I figured out what's exactly in this paint. Some paint names are pretty in line with their pigments. Others are not so straightforward. Take for example, the color vermilion, which is a beautiful shade of red. Originally it was made grinding up mercury sulfide, which is extremely toxic. However, if you peruse the aisles of a paint store, you might still see paints labeled vermilion. If you look, they're basically holding onto this historic and familiar shade of red using different pigments as indicated in the pigment code. So with the information that I gained from the pigment code, I was able to mix a pretty similar color to the paint straight out of the tube. Obviously there's still gonna be variations and I didn't have the exact yellow that they listed on the paint tube, but it was still pretty fun to see that if I mixed it myself, I could get something pretty close. I'm still probably gonna buy the original tube of paint, but it's just really cool to understand how your paint works.